Hello one and all and welcome to Dark World Gaming. I'm your host Joe Dark and today we're going to continue our series of Daily Dose where I'm going to go over today's daily challenges and if uh, the new players are not sure how to complete them give them a little tips, little advice on those and also an overview of today's daily op. Now, I also found some interesting, I found this out the other day while uh, working on my camp by Team Dark member Stu Dog, who pointed it out to me. So there are other daily op rewards that are still in there, obviously extremely rare. So we'll take a look at them, but first, let's take a look at today's daily ops okay let's get into these daily ops first relatively easy with the exception of one thank god we have re-rolls so i'll get to that at the end first one is just for fallout first members which if you're not a fallout first member i recommend doing it it's such it gives you uh, so more benefits uh unlimited scrap you could drop a tent any place you want to dump your stuff off. It's great. But anyway, you have to build a generator in a camp or a workshop. Relatively easy. Of course, your gold, the gold star completed daily challenge. Six of them. You got to do six of them. Uh, we'll do destroy ten robots. Easiest place to go to get that done is Watoga. Very simple, especially if you completed that quest and you made all the robots down there friendly. You got a heck of a time doing it. Perfect. Kill 10 feral ghouls. Very easy. Go to Morgantown. Morgantown, the town of Morgantown is loaded with feral ghouls. Scrap a syringer. Now, if you cannot craft a syringer, you can go to Arctos Pharma. And there are four of them there. You could find one and scrap it. Otherwise, if you have the capability of crafting it, just craft it and scrap it. Scrap junk to produce circuitry. Very simple. Air in telephones. Go down to the National Isolated Radio Array. They are loaded with telephones in that building. So there you have it and there you go. And the last one on the list is the toughest one. It's Cell Swamp Tofu. Now, swamp tofu is made, it's crafted with strangler bloom. Now, down near Dyer Chemical, you can find strangler pods near the shoreline. The problem is, you have to wait until Heart of the Swamp event kicks off for them strangler pods to bloom then you can harvest the strangler bloom and cook it to make swamp tofu. Hence, my recommendation, use the free roll on this and re-roll it. That's my recommendation for that. Now, let's move on to the daily op. And the daily op, it's not that bad today, actually. The daily op is not that bad. It is the burrows. Uh, mole miners, so that's not bad. We have to restore the uplink functionality, so it's the older version of the daily op. Their their mutations are extra fast and explodes on death, and of course the piercing gaze, which is the greatly enhanced perception. So it's very simple today, the daily op. So you're going to have no problems with that at all. It's the old one. It's the mole miners. It's in the burrows, and it's quick, and they blow up. So there you have it on that. Now, what I would like to get into is the other two daily op rewards that uh, Team Dark member Stu Dog found for me gratefully in my camp menu build. Let's take a look at that right now. Okay. Let's get in. Let's uh, watch Joey Bello kick the crap out of this. Oh, I guess he didn't kick the crap out of him. I guess he didn't. Joey's a little hurt and pup there. All right, I guess we're going to have to do some uh, work on this guy. How you doing, Joey? You're all right. Okay. All right, let's get into these uh, uh, other daily op rewards that we haven't been notified of that uh, fellow 
Team Dark member Stu Dog showed me yesterday, which is actually very interesting. And by the way, I had numerous, numerous uh, viewers tell me that yes, the ghoul chair was in Fallout 4 in the Nuka World DLC. So thank you very much for that. And um, let's, uh, oh, I have things stored in here. Okay. So uh, let's, oh, you know what? Maybe I could do this. I wonder if I could do this. Yeah, I can. I'll put some flames there. Uh, this statue is very cool. This is the Blue Devil statue that you get with the, that um, safe and sound event. It's very cool. I, I love it. It's huge. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you the other daily op rewards that, and there's more. There's got to be more. But these are the other ones that are, have been included in the daily ops. They're just very rare. Now, this is the ghoul chair. We all know that's the ghoul chair. It's very cool. I love it. Now, here's the other one. The gorilla chair is also, if you look in your camp menu, you have a gorilla chair. How cool is that? Yeah. Okay. And the next one. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wrong one. The gorilla chair and the Brahmin couch. How about that? Little Brahmin heads on each side. That is pretty awesome. So that's a couple of other, uh, what they appear to be daily op rewards that they are very rare. So we have the ghoul chair, we have the gorilla chair, and then we have the Brahmin couch. So there you have it and there you go. Very, very nice. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. It helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you hit that bell, you'll get notified of all new upcoming content. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Everybody have a great day. Excelsior. Take care.